Hey guys, today I have some advanced F12 tips and algorithms such as this pair right here. So this corner is going into the slot with white facing the back and the edge is over here misoriented. This is a hard case to recognize so I most often use it if I predict it right after the cross. So it's done like this. And that saves a rotation and solves a back slot so it's a really nice thing to do. So because that was all R and U moves you could mirror it here to be L and U moves like this. From this side you can do it, it's still fast, but I prefer to take this out normally and insert into a back slot. That way you have a back slot solved and you don't have to regrip. Another advantage to doing this the conventional way is you don't have wide moves, which can really hinder look ahead. But I think wide moves into the back is fine because it solves a back slot which does already help you with look ahead and this general block over here doesn't move. I may only show a case right-handed or only left-handed, but make sure you can do it with either hand. So this is a somewhat common trick for when you're finishing the cross with a double move here and you have a pair attached to it like this. So if you just insert, then you can't really use this pair, but instead if you insert and add a U move that keeps this on that same side, so still on the left side and then insert, then you have this setup pair. So this is most useful if you're at the level where you want to start predicting your first F12 pair. Now that's one specific case, but you can use this adding one move to setup idea, especially for cases like this, where the white is on the same side as that cross piece you're inserting. And so it's going to end up here. Then you just need to place its edge either here or here. And so here, instead of doing L2 prime, um, I'm going to do L first as that keeps this in the bottom layer and then put this in the setup location and then continue on with L. So that adds one move and creates my setup pair. And here I have the same idea, but this time the edge is in the same layer. Now it also works when it's separated from the corner. All you have to do is make sure it gets to the right spot. So in this case, I see after L2, the blue will end up on top. Uh, this one have, will have orange on top, so I'll want it over here instead. Just some basic F12 recognition. So instead of just doing L2, I will do L U prime L, and that sets them up. The next one is this pair right here where this edge is correctly oriented and this isn't anything too special, but I do see a lot of people do this wrong where they will rotate and pair them up like this. The correct way to do this pair is to put this edge at the back and then do R U prime R prime and that sets them up. Often if you have a bad slotted case, you end up leaving it till the end because the other solutions don't affect it. So just make sure you do a solution that takes this out so you can deal with it in a better way. So for example, if I'm doing this F2L pair, then I could rotate and then set them up like this. But instead that doesn't do anything to this and I want this to be a better pair. So I can do this instead and then set them up from here. And that takes this out. So then I can just insert this as usual and then do this pair. But if you do get this pair and you have other open slots, but you don't see anything so obvious yet, then what you can do is do keyhole to flip this. So what you need is any unsolved corner beneath this edge, such as this, and then just do a flipping algorithm for this. So that can be with sledgehammer and then reinsert the edge and then undo that D move. This is a case I've shown in other videos, but it's so important that you should definitely know it. So when this corner has white on the side where you have to rotate normally in order to pair them up like that, put this corner here or here, I prefer here, and then do this finger trick. So that gives you a setup pair that you can insert and that essentially saves you two rotations. So that's it. I didn't want to stuff too much into one video because it'll be hard to learn that way. But if you want to see more, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.